people who tune in streaming uh thanks so much for tuning in this is the press box adam cook felix johnson set me up with your daughters all right uh anthony (laughs) your game (laughs) that's just a part of my intro now okay (laughs) so what about the game do you have a chance to watch it last night i watched a little bit of it and then it ended up watching me it was (laughs) it it kind of once it kind of started getting out of hand i mean I mean, the, the Jets, I mean, man. I mean, you're on your third string quarterback. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to say no more. I mean, you're on your third string quarterback. I'll tell I mean, you they, what, though. Do they man. have a. Josh do Johnson. They have an offensive, yeah. I look. I, I'm <laughs> Felix thinks that I mean, I'm like I, in love with the Jets' backup quarterbacks. Look, I'm not saying that these guys could go anywhere else and like have a great career, but. I am kind of shocked and like happily surprised at the success of the Jets backup quarterbacks yeah. Yeah. in their time here. Josh Johnson last night, like I know you turned the game off, Anthony, but it was kind of interesting to watch him kind of fight their way back. He went 317 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. For her- well, I, I did catch I did catch his initial drive when he marched him down and got the touchdown pass. I'm like, well, maybe this kid has some. Or is just the fact that you can scheme up a game plan for the third string and you might have an advantage because the other teams is like Josh Johnson and then this when you hear the other sounder that you're on Fox and never heard of. Him. Yeah. So, I mean, it's basically like, you know, the other team is basically being blindsided because you prepare for – the kid that got hurt, the uh, what's his name, Mike White or whatever his name is, you prepare for him. You got a little bit of game footage on him, but after that, Josh Johnson, okay, he, what does he bring? What is what is his tendency? We don't know nothing about him because we probably don't even have no clippings of him from preseason. If he even sits the field during preseason, so right. I mean, but yeah, that when I seen that initial drive, I'm like, okay. Uh, and a lot of times, this is beginner's luck. I mean, when you guys just come up out of nowhere and about – Yeah, and, and I think that that's kind of – Right, and, and the thing about it is, again, I'm not saying that these guys are like a godsend and, oh, the Jets have figured it out at quarterback now. Forget Zach Wilson. Nothing along those lines. But you got to admit, it is pretty impressive for two backups to play in two different games and for both of them to end up having a better game than Zach Wilson's pretty much had all year, you know? This right, is and, and and I guess the crazy thing is basically one of them did it in basically a half, a half, and maybe part of basically a half of football. Yeah, right. I mean, you throw up those kind of numbers in basically one half of football. That's crazy, it's, right? I don't care. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're playing pee wee league ball. That's pretty damn good. Uh-huh. And you guys doing it at the pro level. I mean, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Third string quarterback, especially. You're supposed to get in there and just hand I'm the ball saying. off to whoever's in the backfield. There's a reason he's a third yeah. stringer. Yeah. Hand the ball off. Josh don't, Johnson. Don't hand, right. Hand the ball off and don't turn the ball over. We're already getting beat bad enough. Just right. salvage the game. But, <laughs> yeah, that, that that's some, that's pretty impressive. So, I mean, however you paint it, that's impressive. So, maybe yeah. the Jets have a little quarterback controversy with the backup. No, look, they don't. Look, 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 I'm just, I'm just my, saying. My, I my think... question, though, is – Here's my question, though, is are the Jets snake bitten at quarterback? You lose your first string. Your second string, everybody's hyped up for him. He gets hurt during the game. You bring in your third string. question is, do you have a fourth string? Well, probably sign because somebody in free. Yeah, you did got like the other that. thing is that they're expecting knock, Mike knock White. On wood. <laughs> right. But they're expecting Mike White, I believe, to be back in uniform and ready to play by next week. Well, what about even uh, – their main guy, Zach Wilson. What's the prognosis I on him? When is he supposed to come back? No. Did do you know if he ended up going on IR or I what happened to him? I can't recall. I just but know that he got breaking, out. But breaking news! Breaking yeah. news! The New York Jets have decided to open up their quarterback competition for the remainder <laughs> of the season. <laughs> Josh Johnson comes in, ends up being the best quarterback. The I'll Jets give it a have shot. I, I think I can get in there. And... I probably. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't turn the ball over. That's so. right. You're too big. I'd you just efficient. walk right in. Yeah. Well, See, I say that. I don't hang West out Coast. with a lot of hey. NFL guys. 
you guys have a great day. I know you guys are going to have a great show. I don't have to tell you how to have a great show because y'all do that every day anyway. But you guys have a great day. Enjoy the weekend. And hopefully we hear you talking about some high school football on the show as well, too. We're going to head on. And Felix is going to head out early to go do that game. But, Anthony, thank you so what much game, for calling. What game does Felix have tonight? What game do you have tonight, Felix? Hold on, Anthony. You almost made me cry yeah, for that, that was really man. sweet. God that damn. Was... Oh, okay. <laughs> Whew. We're going to the Collegiate Spartans. And the Cheney Cardinals are playing at Cheney tonight. And I played both it's those teams in high school, okay. so I'm not excited for this. I'm joking. I'm very excited. You're it should just, be a great you're game. You're just like, oh, yeah. Uh, according All to right, reports, well, I, they're I know terrible. Collegiate. I know Collegiate has used their perennial state power. You know, yeah, they always yeah. somebody to be reckoned with. So, you're, you're being for a good game tonight. So, you guys take care. Appreciate right, it, thanks, Anthony. Anthony. Great to hear from you. Have a good one. I mean, looking at, I mean, looking at the, the scouting report for Cheney, they put the ball in the air, buddy. I'm excited to Between, hear from For the Voth brothers and Luke Grace, they put that ball in the er, and they wave it like they just don't cur. Right. Hey. Ho. Right, right, right. Yes. Right, 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 right. Sorry, I'm just collecting my thoughts. And Collegiate's yeah. only loss on the season is to um, Andale. Gotcha. So, that's, that's Do you know um, how many games are happening across the state tonight? That's something I forgot to bring up earlier. <laughs> That is something we both need to know because I'm doing this, the sports page tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, right. Well, it's and like I'm just curious 36, about it. 36, something like that. Cause, 36 I mean, games? I mean, I have probably like six per uh, classification. All right, so you can call in and talk for about seven minutes tonight, right? Nope. <laughs> That's my biggest fear with this. Like this, I, this is my last week, so my, I'm happily going This is going to be my last in, week on the sports page, too. Happily, right, because it, it's the last week for both of them. And I'm happily going in and doing it later, don't get me wrong. But I... Just a little bit like, huh? I hope there's enough games that I don't get oh, to yeah. like half an hour and I'll I'm give just you a like, call. uh. You'll get a call God. from Doug, and if you can extend it from, with him and everything, I'll give you a call. You'll be right, fine. yeah. Everything will be fine. It'll work. Oh, God, I hope you're right. If okay. I'm wrong, don't blame me, so. Uh, so, Felix, a couple Adam. things from the game last night that I still wanted to hit on. Yes, I mean, we talked about how impressive the Jets backups are yeah yeah but uh, they're not the team talk, that won the game no and that's yes that is why i would like to talk about the team who won the game and beat the spread which is pretty impressive yes. for one that big um the indianapolis colts man 45 to 30 was the final score if you guys uh -huh. haven't seen it yet carson wentz looked great um and it 20, was sorry see they jumped out to a 28 to 10 lead yeah fairly it quickly. was so fast like, yeah it was the drive from my house to barley corns it was like 10 minutes mm-hmm um, Carson Wentz looked great. And look, yeah. I know it was against the Jets and they have a shaky defense, but if he can just be consistent in like how he looks, like they, you know, making the same passes, yeah. like as long as guys are getting open, I have gotten to a point now where I think I've got pretty much complete faith in Carson Wentz. He went 22 for 30, 272 yards and three touchdowns. It was a great game for him. And, I mean, that's great for Carson Wentz, and he's played well in every game this season outside of their two games against the Titans, which mm -hmm. was obviously pivotal. But now the division is at hand because, I mean, they the Titans don't look as uh, reputable Not without Derrick Henry, obviously. And But, I mean, we talk a lot about Carson Wentz right now, but a lot of the damage was done with Jonathan Taylor on the ground and also with Naheem Hines because he got he broke it for the first touchdown for like 35 yard, yards, I think. Yeah. And so these guys are – they're they've got legit weapons because, I mean, they got the two backs in Taylor and Hines, Wentz, of course, and then they got Michael Pittman on the outside. The Colts are a really good team, and their record doesn't – well, they were three and five. They're four and five now. And so previously they didn't um, – their record didn't represent them properly in my right. opinion. Right. It's just that they played two really bad games against the Titans this year. Mm hmm. Yeah. No, they definitely did. I like the Colts. I think they have a chance to win it, even though they lost both. They did lose both to the Titans, right? Yes. Cause yeah. They, yeah. They played. That, they just played them last week, and that's when. Carson oh, that's Wentz right. Yes. Through that bad pick and mm -hmm. where Derrick Henry got and hurt. Yeah. I mean, that's. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Um. Jeremy McNichols looked pretty good in his absence, but the problem with that is that Jeremy McNichols it would be a good fantasy option pickup if you lost Derrick Henry, but in comparison for like the team, yeah. it, there's just like there's and, nothing yeah. you can do to make up for the production unless they decide to trade for Alvin Kamara, which they can't do. Well, you the know? thing so is, it's just 
It's really unfortunate. For I've him. said this multiple times, and I stand by behind it completely. Playing running back is probably the easiest position in the league. Uh, yes, because I remember your that. Job is basically done for you. The offensive line opens the hole, and you run through it. If they don't open the hole, there's not a hole to run through. Now, Derrick Henry makes up a lot of his own yard just by being a bowling ball of a human being, and so that. Not it's the easiest position, but it's still very, very hard. I'll say that, and just compared to football or the regular person in general. And so, um, right, no disrespect to running backs, it's just your job's easier, and it's getting harder with the, with the passing game and everything. And so, um, we've seen guys just roll. Either rookies will just roll into this league and just at a higher rate than at almost any other position. Yes. That they'll just roll in and be effective immediately. Patrick Mahomes, uh, Justin Herbert. We're talking about running backs, though. Oh, right. I mean, they just but, roll but into like the league. like that type yeah. of player, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I mean. Trying to think. Uh, I mean, Kareem Hunt. I know Kareem a few Hunt, years yeah. ago he rolled into the yeah. league and was immediately the mm-hmm. guy. And so, and then so and then we see, like, guys just come out of nowhere. Recently we saw Darius Johnson just do it. Yeah. Raheem Mostert for the 49ers a few years ago. Just did it. And now you think of Raheem Mostert. I mean, not this year because he's hurt, but yeah. you think of Raheem Mostert as like their RB1. And, yeah, you know, when and, he's and back, an he's effective. Exactly. Yeah. And so, I mean, I feel like they could just hopefully, it's not going to equal Derrick Henry's impact on the team, but I think they can roll just about any guy in there and he can be effective, you know? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And I think Jeremy McNichols is a good option. I, if I'm remembering correctly, he performed pretty well after Derrick Henry got and, hurt. And they so. got Adrian Peterson. I mean, I know he's Adrian Peterson. He's 45 million years old, almost as old as Doug. And, um, but he's still a body that he, they can roll in there and, and just have it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Colts win 45-30 to 30 over the Jets. Look, I the Jets are still the Jets, and that's the yeah. thing about them. And There's no getting over that hump. They're building something, like anyway. though. They are building something. They have I'll like tell you what, eight or nine rookies, and like seven of them are legitimately contributing. At this time last year, they had no wins. They got yeah. two right now. Yeah. And they just scored 30 against the Colts, who've got a pretty good defense. Again, not saying that they're not the Jets anymore, but I like what you said. I mean, it's going to be a little bit down the road, but I, the Jets. Con- Watch out for them. Yeah, it, eventually. They got a good D line. I mean, Robert Sala. I heard during the broadcast, he says that that's the best defensive line room he's ever been a part of, mm-hmm. and he was defense coordinator for the 49ers right when they went to the Super Bowl and had like six first round picks or whatever. Yeah, and the Jets were having a little bit of trouble there in the beginning. I mean, they the Jets defense had trouble throughout the entire right. game. Right. Yeah, but they definitely have something building. They they're, do, they're gonna man. get it together. They do. I'll tell you what, for me it'll be like the Bengals, right? Once they're good and people are talking about them as if they're good, it's just gonna be the weirdest thing to me. Like, oh my god, they were so bad. Yeah, the Bengals were so bad for like three years, because I mean if you and remember the five years ago they were like making the playoffs I consistently. Know, which is crazy. And then, oh. and then I started like seriously following the NFL, yeah. and they were just awful from right there. Yeah. On. But, all right, folks, we got to take a quick break here. Uh, yeah. When we return, Odell Beckham Jr. and Deshaun Jackson potential landing spots for the receivers. You're gonna want to yeah. hear this, so don't you dare! Ta-da-da. Don't do it. We'll be right back. <laughs> was the most unusual promotion idea I ever heard of. Oh, my God, they're talking, talking. Les, are you there? Oh, my God, they're talking. It's the annual KGSO Turkey Drop. Now's your opportunity to get your own Thanksgiving turkey with Wichita Sports Station KGSO. Just listen for the sounder, pick the right business, and win yourself your very own Thanksgiving turkey. Listen every day to the game plan along with the press box. It's the KGSO Turkey Drop presented by the Wichita Technical Institute. Croft Lumber, MJ's Truck Repair in Moundridge, Ray Roofing, and ProLink Golf. This is Casey from eGraphics in Wichita. Are you tired of being blinded by the sun while driving? We say don't squint, tint. eGraphics is Wichita's undisputed leader in vehicle graphics and window tint. We have a number of options to cut down on glare, reduce interior sun fade damage, and keep your ride cooler and more comfortable. Stop by eGraphics Tuesday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturdays by appointment. eGraphics, 220 South Washington. Call 262-8468 or see us at egraf-x. 
Are your glasses cracked, broken, or lost? Or maybe you'd just like a new pair that better fits your style. Hey, my glasses! I can't see without them! No matter what your eyewear needs, you'll be taken care of the right way at Kenton Roxy's Spectacle Shop. Family owned since 1973, the Spectacle Shop delivers experienced service to anyone who stops by their neck of the woods. Conveniently located at 306 North Rock Road, come and see what Kenton Roxy can do for you at the Spectacle Shop. Elder abuse, neglect, and exploitation comes in many forms. Elder abuse is taking money or valuable items, pushing, shoving, or leaving bruises. It's leaving the elderly unattended or without food when they cannot care for themselves. If you know or suspect an elderly person is being abused physically, emotionally, sexually, or financially, call the Kansas Adult Protective Services hotline at 1-800-922-5330. Elder Kansans deserve honor and respect, not abuse. Remember, elder abuse is a crime. Sponsored by the Kansas Department for Aging and Disability Services and aired in cooperation with the station. At Horse Trailer Sales, we make it easy to buy a trailer. You've been running all around, but you still haven't found the kind of deal that you're looking for. Come on down and see us, and we're going to show you how we can save you so much more. We make it easy. We make it easy. If you're looking for the right trailer at the right price, come on down to Horse Trailer Sales in Biola. They're making it easy to buy a trailer. Horse trailers, travel equipment, hitches, new and used trailers, and a whole lot more. Not only will you find selection, you'll find horse trailer sales experience saves you more and their service is the best. Horse trailer sales, a friendly and helpful staff of professionals who'll see to it that you get what you want at a price that you can afford, because they make it easy. We make it easy. Horse trailer sales, 6901 South 183rd Street West in Viola. Call 545-7292. Starting today, we feel it is important to talk about the members of our Southwestern Remodeling family that bring your projects to life. After all, the quality of your home renovation and your overall experience is dependent upon the people that are involved. Our staff of 36 full-time craftsmen, remodeling consultants, and management team have a combined 500 years of tenure, which ensures the highest quality overall experience. Let the Southwestern Remodeling family show you the difference our people make. View our work at southwesternremodeling.com. KGSO Studio presented by Seven Clans Casino Hotel and Resort. It pays to cross the line. my headphones on so I couldn't hear it but I'm pretty sure I nailed that Welcome back into the show, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with us here. Adam Cook, Felix Johnson on the press box. Having a grand old time here on Wichita Sports Station, KGSO. Hail to the yeah, yeah, yeah. Hail to the yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought you were trying to take a picture there no. for a quick sec. I was like, just use the front-facing camera. It, it just doesn't get my good side, you know. <laughs> That's what it looked like. No, the back face of the camera on my phone is better than the front. No, I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't, take, I don't take pictures. You're not taking selfies? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't you, have a use for you, you take selfies. Pictures you Snapchat get taken all those me. girls, Felix. <gasps> no. No, you don't? They have to look at my shoes. Oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just send them a black screen. Be like, respond. They're not worth my time. <laughs> That's right. Know your you worth, know what is boo. radio. That's right. And That's I'm the greatest sports analyst of all time. That's why you'll never get married, have a girlfriend. You're just devoting your life to radio, right? Stephen A. Smith. Giving up 
Comedy dreams. No, it's all about radio now to you. Not even, not it? even all of radio. Just this stage. Just this stage. Just this show. <laughs> just this show. They're like, we're moving you to the morning show. You're like, no, I'm out. No, I'm done. They're like, wait, we're sorry. They're like, no, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> all right, folks, we got uh, a little bit of time here. We want to talk about a couple guys yeah. who. Um, are looking for new landing spots. Now, one of them's a little bit bigger of a name than others just because of age and what people believe is left in the tank. Should we start to with the older fair, guy? To be fair, Deshaun Jackson, back in the Diz oh, was oh, my God. Was an absolute monster. He is one of the greatest return specialists of all time. Between yes. him, Devin Hester, I mean, dion has got to be in there. Those are some of the greatest – return guys of all time age is sad isn't it felix now he's got to ask to be released and cordero patterson he's a four-time pro bowler at this point it's true and, and killing it still this year well yeah but all of those are all those pro bowls he made it as return specialist oh you that's know, right that's right mm-hmm. they transitioned him over i you forgot know about why that. he's up there in that list why hutch grad that's right. That's right. And that's why I'm the greatest sports analyst of all time, because I was a Hutch grad. Blue Dragons, baby. Because I was a Hutch grad. You know, I swear they talk about the governor every day on the news, but here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what about Hutch dropouts? Are they still a step above everybody else? What do you mean, dropouts? Like if you went to Hutch and you didn't graduate with your associates? No, you couldn't cut it. I see, I you see. Couldn't cut it. So that makes them lower than dirt. Yeah. Like just scum. I mean, the trash not on the sidewalk. as low as K-State graduates. Right, right, right. That's the same way I feel about Hutch football players. Well, we're literally the best. Cordero I'm Patterson, sorry, I'm sorry. Alvin not Kamara, the ones Jeremiah that went to the Ledbetter. NFL or, you know, a four-year school. Why didn't you do I'm that I'm the again? greatest sports analyst of all time. What are you talking about? Yeah. Why didn't you play more? Because sports radio. Oh, that's right. That's right. Adam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty simple. <laughs> You're, I it's freaking love you, math. Felix Johnson. Let's uh, let's talk to Sean <laughs> Jackson. Um, so four potential landing spots. I got a list here. I'm gonna read them to you. Okay. Tell me what you think. Coming up at number one for Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun. Las Vegas. Mm. You can see why. Yeah, they have a really strong offense, and they have an with, opening with at wide Ruggs, receiver. Yes, because he was their over the top kind of guy, and so uh, Deshaun Jackson can offer the same things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So, see it. See it offers it. Them, them some leadership in a time like this, being an older player. And True. From most accounts, he's just a really good dude. And not a really good dude, but like a strong dude. How about Green Bay Packers? The Green Bay Packers? Packers, yes. Um. Yeah, they do need another option outside of Devontae Adams because they do rely on him heavily. And so, they do need another guy that can just really take the top off of defense. Yeah. Okay, so you can see that one as well. I yeah. I could see it. I mean, behind, um, behind uh, what's his face, uh, Devontae Adams. Yeah, it's not the strongest core of guys. Right. It can be good. I've I, seen some good plays from Randall Cobb, some from Alan Lazard, some from Marcus Valdez yeah. Scanling, but just overall. And they lost Robert Tanya in their tight end. That's too, true. So. They could use an extra pair and of he's hands. He's out for out the there. season. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay. How about this one? Indianapolis Colts reuniting with Carson Wentz. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be fairly interesting. Uh, where are they getting T.Y. back if he's coming back? I don't know. He came back for a game and then left. Man. I'm I'm assuming this guy's just going to be out for a while. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. I feel yeah, like they got something I, I good going it, right now. Right, you don't want to like try. And even if it is an addition, it, it, it's it might be another cook in the kitchen. But it's also not like an obvious addition, right, you know. Right. Like sometimes there's guys you're just like, oh yeah, gotta get, if we have the opportunity, you have right. to. I wouldn't say that Deshaun Jackson Jackson is an obvious one, but it would be interesting. Right. Uh, finally, here New Orleans Saints, who uh, Nick. Uh, Nick and I are going to talk later. Decided that Simeon is going to be their quarterback this weekend. I like that move much, much more than Taysom Hill. You can't, you can't put Taysom. But yeah, we'll get to that later. Because it's Tim Tebow, part two. Right. Um, 
just that's my take on it. Even though I'll be here, I won't be here for the second hour. Um, yeah, that's solid. They do, especially because I mean, I'm, I'm not assuming Michael Thomas will come back at, at full strength, just because he's been out for so long, and he might not even come back at all. Because I mean, this is this he be coming back at this time, and it's not looking great because of the situation he had with Sean Payton and everything. And so, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think the Saints are probably my favorite person on the list for Deshaun. So Jackson. far, okay. Well, actually, yeah, that's that's the end of the list right there. Um, yeah, they just with Michael Thomas not coming back at all. I mean, just the, the uncertainty of him at the right. very least. Right. I mean, there's just well, he, well, I'm sorry, not coming back at all this season. Yeah. Um. There's very much uncertainty going forward, and they also don't have Jameis Winston for the rest of the year. The right. Saints are going to be lost. Don't get me wrong. I mean, who knows? Maybe they're going to be Simeon lost until they get their quarterback of the future. Right? Maybe and he'll come not, in. It's and not even Jameis Winston. Have a mic? No, agreed. And he kind of made that apparent this year, which is unfortunate because I wanted him to succeed and be. I had him as my dark horse. MVP I mean, honestly, I can see the Saints but. trading up and getting a, um, kind of like how they did with Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, trading up and I, just I making think, the guy I think sit. They should too, and I, it won't be like the obvious guy. They could do it this Winston year. Yeah, play for a year. Yeah, no, I think I think that would be a pretty good idea. Take a look at the future, will you, New Orleans? We got a call. Let's head over. Hey there, caller. You're in the press box. How's it going? Good. If I'm the Saints, I'm going after uh, Russell Wilson. Yeah. That guy on my team. Russell Wilson, um, because he had the whole dust up uh, this offseason, similar to, to Aaron Rodgers, and so I can I can see I like I was, the Saints getting Russell. Wilson. I do too, and honestly, uh, this is Tyler, right? Your yeah, little, it is. little. Oh, you, look at you guys! You guys know my voice. Now. Oh, of course. Yeah, well, yeah. No, it's just a little quiet. I couldn't tell for sure. We get excited every day to hear from you, buddy. I didn't like <laughs> the way the Seahawks treated Russell Wilson for what he said. He went on live TV, and I remember watching this because if you remember with Deshaun Watson before the whole thing went down, he was up there screaming. You know, he was just not happy. Russell Wilson goes and he's doing an interview, yeah. and he goes, you know, I, I I do think it would be good for me to get more say in like the draft process and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then the Seahawks come out, and they're like, oh, the Seahawks are very angry f at Russell Wilson for going on live Talking. TV and doing that. And I was like, okay, this is ridiculous. When up to that point, he has been the He's model been citizen. model citizen, and there are other quarterbacks out there screaming and crying about their situation. It's and Russell like Wilson Rogers is just – was the worst about it. Russell, right, and Russell Wilson is just like, oh, I think it'd be cool if I had a little bit more. And they're like, all right, that's it. Yo, you need to get out of town. That really upset me. I'm not going to lie. Right. So, for yeah. me, I want – Russell Wilson elsewhere. I would love to see him on the Saints. Um, how old is he at this very moment, Felix? I'm say he's like 31. Okay, okay. That's Which because he's he's one I of those guys that take care takes care of his body so really well. So you think well. he might be able to play for a while? He's 32. Like he could, actually, 30, he'll okay, be 33 later thinking. this month. Thir okay, so he's about to be 33. That was going to be my guess. So I'm all right. And so I mean, he's like one of those guys that wants to play past 40. So. How about you, Tyler? Do you think that Russell Wilson, because you, you're the one who brought it up, do you think he's a long-term solution for the Saints? Um, I mean, that guy's unbelievable. Right. I mean, I, when, you, when you watch him, he can read a defense. He doesn't run to create throws. He throws, and then if it breaks down, he runs for whatever he needs to. Yeah. And, I mean, when you looked at that team that won the Super Bowl, he's that same caliber quarterback. I mean, he's the best part of the Seahawks. So I think I'd be shocked if they let him go. But at the same token, if I'm him and I can go to a higher, you know, honestly a, a better offensive-minded coach, Yeah. and the, the Saints have some pretty good weapons. Yeah, they do. I'm, and I'm expecting that Michael Thomas will probably be back at least close to the start of the season next year. And, I, man, can you imagine that? I don't yeah. know how he's going to be at this point without playing for the entire year, but Russell Wilson with uh, with Michael Thomas out there, that'd be a scary combination. I would like to see that. Yeah. I wonder if some of Michael Thomas' frustrations have come from the fact that they went from having, uh, you know, first-round Hall of Fame quarterback in Drew Brees to any, you know, two sub-caliber. Right. Uh, oh, absolutely. Competing. And then that's and he's like, this is my legacy too. <laughs> yeah, that's where a lot of the the animosity I heard where it, where it began is just like, 
with Drew Brees retiring, I mean, there's probably some some stuff between Sean Payton and Michael Thomas that uh, where Drew Brees acted like a barrier mm-hmm. between the two. And with Drew Brees gone, no barrier. They just got to fighting like cats and dogs. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. That's the other thing about it, though. And if the Saints make a push for Russell Wilson, that could change things there. But uh-huh. I think I think Thomas wants to get out of New yeah. Orleans. Um, I would not be surprised to see him in a different uniform next year. I don't know his contract. So yeah. I don't know when he's up or if it's viable for him to be traded or what. Um, but it would be hard. I just, I, man, I feel for the Saints. I, yeah. I like the team. They're another team that I think plays really hard. You know, yeah. And sometimes it really, 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 really doesn't work out. I think out they're going to win this weekend defense. against the Falcons, and so I think everything will be fine on that front. Mm-hmm. Quick question for Tyler. I'm kind of going to shift us into our the next receiver. Um, We're going to have to do that. Just real quick, I just yeah, want to yeah, add, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask him, and then yeah, yeah. Well, we'll begin. Yeah, how do you feel about Odell to the Chiefs? I'm not a big fan of it, but how do you feel about it? Um, to me, it sounds like your offense is searching for something. You go out and you sign Josh Gordon, then you're going to sign Odell. I mean, it's it. To me, I think it almost makes things worse. It feels cluttered, I, right? Yeah, and, and I mean, honestly, if you look at the tail end of Odell Beckham's career and and at the Giants, it wasn't great. Pretty much his entire career with the Browns was not good. Uh, I mean, he's got fleeting moments of being amazing, but I think he's more of a you know, a cancer in your locker room than it's worth. Yeah. I mean, the guy couldn't even make it to the end of this season. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they with, did with literally the season, halfway through. Still a chance to make the playoffs. Right. Probably a better chance now, unfortunately, for Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it would be odd, but I'm pretty sure the Chiefs have the best uh, odds to do so right. as of right now. But I'm not sure. Especially did, if he clears uh, waivers. Yes. Did Deshaun, uh, did he just ask to be released? Is that what it finally he, was? They, they, he asked for a trade and, and they couldn't they, find one. Yeah, that's what it was. They were trying to for a little bit, but since they couldn't, they decided to release him. But he'll land on his feet. Yeah, um, hey, I, w- I wouldn't mind if the Niners got him. We could use a deep threat. Right. Yeah, y'all aren't good. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't start calling other teams not good. With nah, the nah, nah. Team I right talk. Now. That's what I do for a living. I talk. Yeah. And okay. I don't shut up. Shut up. No. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, that's adorable. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. <laughs> All right, Tyler. Thanks so much for calling. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, but I'm right. Always a pleasure to hear great. from Tyler from Cali. I uh, I heard his last name uh, yesterday. I know. We were it's it not from Cali. It is not from Cali. Oddly <laughs> enough, and then also, uh, I don't know why, but it just didn't feel like the last name I thought it was not going from Cali. to be. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't know what last name I was expecting, but it was not anywhere near what I thought it might be. Uh. That's Tyler, man. Always full of surprises. I like that. All right, we got to take a quick break. When we return, for the first time, I think, in a couple weeks, Fat Boy Boy Friday. Friday. We'll be right back, everybody. Don't you dare turn it off. Don't do it. All right. uh, Bye. The Porter Moser era has begun. He gets free, right wing three. Nothing but the bottom of the net. The Crimson and Queen have a new leader, and the Sooners are ready to hit the hardwood. Baseline throws it up over the backboard and in. Be a part of the Sooner journey all season long on your home for Oklahoma basketball. Your home for Oklahoma Sooners basketball is Wichita Sports Station, 1410 AM and 93.9 FM, KGSO. At Midwest Kia, we're helping you solve all the problems that everyone is talking about when buying your next new vehicle. Have you been told there are no new cars out there? No problem. Have you been told you have negative equity? No problem. Have you been told you have bad credit? No problem. 
Maybe you've even heard you can't get a great deal on a new car. At Midwest Kia, we solve all of these problems for you. With over 300 new Kias, certified pre-owned Kias, and used vehicles, Midwest Kia has the deal and the car, truck, or SUV for you. And we want to get you approved. If you have $600 cash or trade, you could be approved for a brand new Kia today. Plus, every new Kia comes with our amazing 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Only at Midwest Kia and MidwestKia.com. Simple, transparent, and fast. A better way to buy. You want to see ya in a Midwest Kia. On select models, with approved credits. Warranty is a limited powertrain warranty. See retailer for details. Your experience matters. At University of Phoenix, relevant life experience and eligible transfer credits can help you earn your degree faster and for less. In fact, undergrads who apply these credits, on average, save about one year and $11,000. Get the credit you deserve for time spent in the classroom, on the job, and in life. And see how much you can save at phoenix.edu. That's phoenix.edu. Croft Lumber of Heston. Project expertise from start to finish. At Croft Lumber, you'll experience big box store selection with Heston owned and operated pride in serving you, the customer. Quality Anderson and Marvin windows, Anderson and Larson storm doors, the full line of custom kitchen cabinetry from R.D. Henry and Company, and Croft Lumber has the full Milwaukee tool line. Croft Lumber, where service is their specialty, and be sure and ask about free delivery within a 50-mile radius. Croft Lumber of Heston. Hi, this is Blake Davis with Davis Liquor Outlet. And this is Brian Davis, reminding you that the holidays will be here before we know it. The Davis family has been serving families of South Central Kansas for over 40 years now. As you're planning your family get-togethers, keep Davis Liquor Outlet in mind. We offer everyday discounts on case liquor and wine. On Tuesdays, save 10% on any liquor 750 ml. Wednesdays, save 15% on craft and import beer. And don't forget about wine day. Thursdays, save 20% on most wines. Davis Liquor Outlet, each store independently owned and operated. Excludes 31st and Meridian. This is Phil Martinez with Phil's Coins. The difference between us and our competition is the fact that we care about our customers greatly. When you come to our shop, we listen to what you want to do and what your needs are, and we try to build a portfolio that will work for you. It's all about you. It's not about us. Our biggest goal is to help you accomplish your life's goals and what you're going to do in the easiest form that we can do it in. We always treat you with honesty and integrity. It's not just our motto. It is the way we do business. Bill's Coins, 9344 West Central. 2021, it's coming to an end. Wear an optometry at 21st and Tyler reminds you that as the calendar closes out, so do many vision insurance benefits that if you don't use, you'll lose. Regular exams keep your eyes as sharp as can be vision-wise and are also an invaluable tool in maintaining healthy eyes by detecting and preventing diseases. Schedule your exam soon with Dr. Warren at Warren Optometry, 729-8600. Mostly sunny this afternoon in Wichita with high temperatures warming into the lower 60s. It'll be a breezy one. South wind 10 to 20, gusts to 25. Tonight we're clear and crisp. Lows drop to 40 by sunrise. For Saturday, mostly sunny and warmer. A high up near 70. With your forecast, I'm Cake Meteorologist Frank Waugh. That's your latest Cake First Alert weather update on Sports Radio KGSO. At 448, it's currently... 55 degrees. Call the press box now on the Maximum Outdoor Equipment phone lines at 522-1410. You're listening to the press box with the chef himself, Adam Cook. Sports Radio KGSO. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. It's Press Box. Adam Cook, Felix Johnson. My jam right there, boy. Boy. My thing right there. My thing. Is it? Is it your My thing? Ish. All right, Felix. It's Fat Boy Friday. It's Fat Boy Friday. You excited? Yeah. How you feeling? Great. How, how have you kept track of your progress since we've skinny. started i like that i look skinnier than i had pictures just old pictures just, just taking pictures of yourself pictures. and yeah okay, i, I got gotcha, you i got gotcha. you yeah 
You do look pretty damn you, good. You bro. shut your little oh, mouth. Yeah. You shut your little mouth before I kiss you in it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, I, I I can see my that's like my biggest thing at least recently is is I see the transformation more than anything. Right. And that I mean, and I know if I can see it, it's actually it's existent. visible to other yeah. people for sure. Yes. Um, now, you know, with the thing that I'm in, I have to track my weight. Yeah. Uh, but if I wasn't at this point, I would definitely be seeing a difference there. So I tracked it again uh, today. I had a really bad last week. Uh, uh, this week, however, was great. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's given me new energy to continue. There you go. That's um, good. I'm down, it was like a pound and a half since the last time I weighed in. Overall, I am down over 21 pounds at this point. Uh, um, that's good. Yeah, no, I'm that's feeling great, actually. great. Thank you very much. And yeah, like this this sweater right here, this would not have fit me before we started. Mm. And it's one of my favorite articles of clothing. So articles. very, it's something that I am very happy you came up with this idea. Who's behind me? Nothing. I am I'm getting like a hot flash or something. Probably going to have to take menopause? this freaking sweater off. Are you going through menopause? I don't know. I always hear people say hot flash. And it's like, not people. It's 55-year-old women. Yeah, but like at least what I imagine it feels like just based off the term is that you just, in a flash, feel really hot for a second. I mean, yes, but the hot flash word is almost exclusive to right. the menopause community right well I, I i'd join a facebook group i don't, I don't know. think you should buddy you don't think they'd let me in no just off the uh, what if i lose another 20 pounds no I, you'll still be a man at that point right <sighs> yeah well there you go that, that's your answer well according to my father i've never been a man but uh <laughs> Your father's a lovely person. No, That's the funniest great. part I about know. that. He's awesome. <laughs> your father's <laughs> incredible. I like, like your that. dad. <laughs> no, he's great. Um, but yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't know. I was looking at the fan. I was trying to get a little bit more air mm -hmm. on me for a second. But overall, yeah, man, I've been feeling good. Like I said, it's been a struggle back and forth. Yeah. Once we hit. When we start, we started September, right? September one. I pretty much went through all of September flawlessly. Yeah, and then we hit October, and pretty much the entire month and was it's rough only for me. Get however, worse. however, but it was like my habits, and it was yeah. me giving in to the things that I wanted to do. However, I still lost about five pounds, six pounds, whatever, over yeah. the course of October. And although it's not as much as the month before, that's still progress. Yeah. It's only going to get worse, too, because we got Thanksgiving coming up, which is probably my favorite holiday. And then Christmas. And then Christmas. And then, like, the season leading up to Christmas, but everybody wants to give somebody a candy or cookies or a I cupcake know. or something stupid. And uh, so, yeah, it, it's going to be fun. I, I'm, I'm, I like a challenge. I'm crazy. You're crazy. I'm crazy, man. You're crazy, I'm man. ridiculous. I like it. I like it. My name is Nicholas. And this is ridiculous. ridiculous. Got right. gummy money and it's deliciousness. Have you noticed anything? So, like, yes, you're seeing it, and I'm seeing it too. Yeah. I hope you know that. Like, you you look really good. Stop, um, man. <laughs> I'm a real one in these streets, man. Like, how about energy wise? Have you felt a little bit better in that aspect, or even um, a little bit worse? You know, we want to talk about the bad things too. Honestly. And it's honestly been a little bit worse energy wise, right? But and then I I realized because I mean for me we're at shows and whatnot that until like ten maybe eleven eleven thirty yeah I can't and then nights. you wake up and go and then to... I, I get up at five my alarm goes off at five fifteen and so I'm getting about about six less less than six hours of sleep most of the time yeah and so my uh, average is right around there but that's just because I'm. Uh, bad human well, anyway continue yeah but uh yeah we're just i'm all i'm constantly running on fumes but i'm not the thing about it is i'm in a state of homeostasis because i've been here before because in hutch we we had a our d-line coach al davis who's the d-line coach down at uh mizzou now i should get him on the show um but uh <laughs> yeah that just clicked in my head as i as the words were coming <laughs> out my mouth but uh he he would come down our hallways at the dorms and hutch with the siren on the uh what's the thing he called the thing that you talk out of the there? bullhorn bullhorn yeah, he, yeah, yeah he'd run yeah. the siren down our hallways at five o'clock every morning 
Oh, I gotcha. And most of it, I mean, just naturally, I mean, be, between like being in a new place, I couldn't get to sleep till midnight most nights. And so, uh, yeah, been here before. I walk this like- lonely road. <laughs> they only want all right. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, man. Ah, uh, now for me it's different. Because I was just binge eating and I was just eating like way too much. So for me, I cut back on it. Even if I'm not eating enough at this point, my energy is still going to be higher. Right. You know, um, I still haven't moved, (laughs) but I have to start soon. And I'll tell you why off the air, but uh, I practically don't have a choice at this point. So I'm going to rely on you to help me out on that a little bit. No, I'm not going to help you. No, 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 no. To exercise. <laughs> I know. I'm you screwed. freak. <laughs> Go to HeyBuddyComedy.com. HeyBuddyComedy.com. Well, listen to Felix on KGSO, correct? KQAM. KQAM tonight, folks, 102.5. Listen to him. I'm going to be right back with Nick Ford. Hopefully, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. It's time for your latest news from the KGSO News Center. Brought to you by Phil's Coins, Kansas's largest coin dealer at 9344 West Central. Phil's Coins, buying, selling, and trading with honesty and integrity. From the KQAM News Desk, I'm Trace Tall. Good afternoon. Wichita police believe a man who died Thursday had suffered a medical condition after he was approached by two dogs while riding his bike. Police were told that a man was riding his bicycle in the area and had gotten off his bike to shoo the two dogs away when he collapsed. He was hospitalized in critical condition and later died. His name has not been released. Kansas children aged 5 to 11 began receiving a COVID-19 Pfizer vaccine Thursday morning at the old downtown library in downtown Wichita. Here's Adrian Burns, Sedgwick County Health Director. I wasn't sure that we'd have any today or tomorrow until Saturday. So this just shows the value and importance to some of our parents. And I have heard that children, some of the children are anxious as well uh, because of being afraid of knowing people that have gotten sick. This age group is one step. We still need all the adults that can, unless there's a medical reason, to get vaccinated. And that audio courtesy of our news partners at Cake TV. And now here's sports. From the KGSO Sports Desk, I'm Mason Voth. This update brought to you by the Keg Sports Bar and Grill, your new home to kick back and enjoy your favorite games. This weekend, one of the games you can enjoy will be the Sunflower Showdown as K-State and KU get ready to square off in Lawrence at 11 a.m. on Saturday. K-State has won 12 straight in the series in 24 of the last 28 games between these two teams. This will be the first year for Lance Leipold as head coach of the Jayhawks in this series. Looking to carve out a better future for yourself? Start training for an essential career at WTI. Whether you're interested in an in-demand career in technology, HVACR, or healthcare, at WTI's Wichita campus, you can get the training you need to get started. All of our programs feature blended learning with a combination of on-campus and online classes, giving you the ideal balance of convenience and hands-on training. Learn more by visiting us at WTI.edu. WTI. You matter. Skills matter. Elder abuse, neglect, and exploitation comes in many forms. Elder abuse is taking money or valuable items, pushing, shoving, or leaving bruises. It's leaving the elderly unattended or without food when they cannot care for themselves. If you know or suspect an elderly person is being abused physically, emotionally, sexually, or financially, call the Kansas Adult Protective Services hotline at 1-800-922-5330. Elder Kansans deserve honor and respect, not abuse. Remember, elder abuse is a crime. Sponsored by the Kansas Department for Aging and Disability Services and aired in cooperation with the station. Look, staying healthy isn't easy. Watching your diet, hitting the gym, avoiding stress. But a good night's rest helps boost your overall health and wellness. And it couldn't be easier. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed effortlessly adjusts and responds to both of you. The result? You wake up ready for anything. Proven quality sleep is life-changing sleep. Don't miss our weekend special. Save $1,000 on the Sleep Number 360 Special Edition Smart Bet, plus special financing. Ends Monday. Special financing subject to credit approval. Minimum monthly payments required. See store for details. Your local weather on KGSO. Brought to you by Derby Mattress. No dancing animals. No gimmicks. Your locally owned hometown mattress store at 105 South Baltimore in Derby. 
Mostly sunny this afternoon in Wichita with high temperatures warming into the lower 60s. It'll be a breezy one. South wind 10 to 20 gusts to 25. Tonight we're clear and crisp. Lows drop to 40 by sunrise. For Saturday, mostly sunny and warmer. A high up near 70. With your forecast, I'm Cake Meteorologist Frank Waugh. That's your latest Cake First Alert weather update on Sports Radio KGSO. At 5 o'clock, it's currently 55 this degrees. This is a Steckline Communication Station, K230BY, FM 93.9, and AM 1410 KGSO. Wichita Proud. The following is a production of Steckline Communications and Sports Radio 1410 AM and 93.9 FM KGSO. It's time for Wichita's Afternoon Sports Drive. This is the Press Box with Adam Cook. If you guys would like to call me, I would highly recommend. I will put you on the air and we can chat about whatever you'd like. Whether you think I'm a genius or a moron or, hey, maybe you just think I'm handsome and you want to introduce me to your daughter. And Felix Johnson. Yeah, I'm not doing, if I'm anything less than completely confident, I'm not doing anything that she does. Yeah. If I had the ability to do it. If- you don't want to see the 6 foot 5, 340 pound body go. <laughs> on Sports Radio KGSO. Welcome back in one and all to the press box on Wichita's sports station, 1410 AM, 93.9 FM, KGSO. It's your boy. It's your boy. Adam Cook, hanging out with you, doing this alone for the first time in a little while. It's been a little bit. And I turned on Felix's mic, like, instinctively. He's not even here. Just me hanging out with you for now. We should be getting Nick Ford here in studio at some point soon. But for now, it's just me. I'll tell you what. It takes me back, folks. It's been, like I said, a little while since I did a show by myself. I used to do it every single day, and it was just fine. But uh, I've gotten used to having a co-host, so Might be a little bit more difficult, but I'll tell you what, I'm having a good time in here anyway. Like I said, Nick Ford should be here at any time. And, you know, it's kind of like revisiting moments uh, before you had kids, right? Now, I don't have any kids, so I I can't really exactly know how that feels like, but I imagine this is what it is. It's like, oh, yeah, I used to be happy, and then you came along. Just kidding, Felix, if you're listening. I would love some calls in this segment. Don't get me wrong. That was one thing that used to get me through uh, a lot of my singularity way back when. I talked to you guys. And you know what? I'd love to have that again, at least until my man Nick Ford comes up. But after then, you are still more than welcome to give me a call at 316-522-1410. We can chat about whatever you'd like. I'm down for whatever. Uh, because right now, all I wanted to talk about was a little bit more about the Saints. And we kind of talked about them in detail a little bit in the last segment. Now, granted, for that one, we were talking more about their fit uh, with uh, Deshaun Jackson. 
as a potential maybe. Uh, Felix said that it was his favorite one on the list. Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. It's rough. And I like what he brought up, too, because he said Deshaun Jackson, he needs respect, okay? People need to remember who he is, that he is a monster. And I don't know. I just I, I would love to see him on a team where he's got a chance to win a ring or something like that, but I suppose that's just me. Uh, like I said, a little bit more Saints news here to start us off on this segment, uh, and that is... They're reportedly sticking with Trevor Simeon at quarterback this week versus Atlanta. Now, fortunately, Felix is not here, so I can say Atlanta's going to kick their uh, – uh, sorry, looking around real quick. But, you know, come on, Matt Ryan, ooh, baby. The only thing that scares me there is they're without uh, Calvin Ridley, but I'll tell you what, the Saints are without a quarterback, and unless they're like uh, the Jets, just immaculate – second and third string quarterbacks it's going to be tough I think for the Saints to stick up or to keep up however they also have a good defense I don't know it's going to be a good game but I like Atlanta so far with this granted who knows <laughs> like I said the NFL's had some luck for the past uh well few weeks now at backup quarterbacks just being phenomenal so who knows Trevor Simeon might uh, might be able to get the job done um and with this one I knew I don't want to say I knew but I had a pretty big hunch before this happened that the Saints were not going to make Taysom Hill their starting quarterback and if you remember what I find interesting about this is that in the offseason the Saints were trying to figure out who they wanted to start between Jameis Winston and Taysom Hill and now they're looking at between Trevor Simeon and Taysom Hill and they're still going with Trevor Simeon that to me means that yes I think the Saints like Taysom Hill and he's definitely a boon to them on their team but he's not a starting quarterback he's just not like he can be so much more valuable for just about any team by just riding the bench for a little bit and coming in when they need him so I like the fact that he kind of accepts that role. You know, he's okay with it. And he's back to being a full participant in New Orleans uh, practice. So there's no injuries or anything like that that's preventing him from doing it. No, they just don't see Taysom Hill as a starter. But it's okay. Uh, I mean, if you're going to be better in a different role, then why would you not do that role? Okay. I, I don't know if Taysom Hill could really last all that long as a starting quarterback either is the other thing. I think they would be taking him out kind of quick to put Simeon in. So, in my opinion, this is the best move by the Saints here. Um, I just I didn't see them ever really letting Taysom Hill do it because, well, if they're going to let Trevor Simeon start, there was never really a point, at least in my mind right now, where I think they were actually considering – Taysom Hill to start for him in the beginning of the offseason um yeah and, and so that's kind of what uh, this article I'm looking at goes into a little bit more uh is how it's a little surprising since Hill and Winston battled it out for that job to me I think they might have just never really been considering him in the first place and now kind of had to say the same thing here um Last week, Taysom Hill was out with a concussion, gave Simeon a chance to play. And, yeah, like I said, so he came in, and he was fine. Well, it went 16 of 29, 159 yards and a touchdown. Saints won. Again, that's fine. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. Um, and, well, it's not pretty good. It's fine. That is l kind of the only word you can really use to describe this here. I suppose uh, if it was one of his first times playing in the NFL, which I am not exactly sure on, then it could be considered a little bit more impressive, I suppose. But, yeah, I'd say fine is just about where we cap it there. Of course, he's getting his next shot here against the Atlanta Falcons on Sunday. Oh, okay, I apologize. Oh, that's right. That's where I knew this name. He did start at one point, and that was for the Denver Broncos in 2016 and 2017, folks. Um, he was a seventh-round pick. Yeah, that's right. He took over for Peyton Manning and did not look very Peyton Manning 
ish, if you will, right after uh, Manning retired. He was a seventh round pick, eventually displaced as the starter, and pretty much decided, okay, my career path is with the backups. So good for him. He's getting another chance to do it here, but I don't remember the. Yeah, I don't remember the 16 and 17 Denver Broncos just being overly impressive to the point where I'm thinking, oh, well, this guy needs to be a starter on a Super Bowl team. But who knows? Like I said, I mean, Mike White's been in the league for a while, and nobody ever saw anything like that before he came up. Sorry to bring him up again. I'm kind of a homer now, okay? I love it when backups can come in and just absolutely crush it. I know it was just one game. Same for uh, Johnson their third string, but it's still interesting to me. Um, Another interesting fact, though, a little bit about Simeon is that before Sunday, he hadn't thrown a touchdown in a game since 2017. Yeah, from the start of the 2018 season to Sunday, he'd played only in one game with the New York Jets in 2019. I have to imagine he did not win that game. Uh... I'm I'm interested to see this game, and I think the lack of Jameis Winston definitely makes it more interesting. I mean, like I said, Felix Johnson and I were arguing over uh, Atlanta or New Orleans for this one. I get his arguments. I just don't see the Saints keeping up with the Falcons' offense. I, I just don't see it. And uh, when you break it down as simply as that, I, it's really all I can give to you right now. But Trevor Simeon... I would love to see him go in and have a great game. I mean, honestly, that would make my day. It, I've gotten it twice now with Mike White and Josh Johnson. So to see Simeon come in and do it would just be a boon to my mood. But I don't see it happening. I just don't. And, you know, this wouldn't be a bad time to take some calls from you guys. How do you think Simeon is going to perform this week versus Atlanta? I'm sure we don't have a ton of uh, New Orleans fans here in Wichita. But if you're just an NFL fan in general, give me a call. 316-522-1410. I'd love to hear about that. Another one I'd love to hear about, uh, which Felix and I got to talk a little bit into yesterday, uh, but we didn't really have a full discussion. And that is another quarterback who hasn't thrown a touchdown in a little bit mr jordan love of the green bay packers um i got to hear felix's opinion i've gotten to hear guys like colin cowherd doug gottlieb their opinion i would love to hear your opinion on how that whole game is going to go 316-522-1410 is the number to call just ring me i'll put you on right away but We're going to find out more about Trevor Simeon at quarterback this week versus Atlanta. Like I said, I think it's going to be an interesting game. I mean, if I'm remembering correctly, Anthony used to describe sometimes games like these as poop fests, which might be fair, but also even if the scoring isn't super high, I think it's going to be made interesting just by, I mean, the Falcons don't have a good defense, have a good offense. The uh, Saints at this point, don't have a good offense but they have a good defense it's a good matchup in that perspective and I'm definitely excited to see it um but honestly I could really see this one going anyway and I would love to hear what you think 316-522-1410 is the number to call um now this is one you know I kind of want to discuss this with Nick Ford here So maybe we just go take a look at what other things we can fill the time with. Ja. Another thing I was going to do with Nick Ford, but I think it would be better safe to do right now. And that, well, actually, I was going to do it originally with Felix. We didn't end up having time because our Deshaun Watson talks kept going for too long. Um, Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Jackson talks kept going for too long. Um, So... I'll go ahead and try this one out myself. And that is, uh, of course, as you guys know by now, you kind of have to. That's the Browns and Odell Beckham Jr. are working toward a split. I have a list. This is from our friends at CBS with uh, 10 potential landing spots for OBJ. Now, there's a team I would like to see on here. Uh, I would not like for it to actually happen. But 
you'll see when we get to it. Coming in at number 10 is the Eagles. They were also a... Uh, actually, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. I was just thinking of uh, Deshaun Jackson. They were not on the list for the last one. Yeah, it wouldn't really make sense for him right now. OBJ's 29. They've got the Eagles coming in at number 10 for the spots here. I suppose this could work. I, I don't know. I don't really see it with how the Eagles are doing at this point. Um, I thought they've been a little bit better than expected, but they're not in the running for a playoff spot or anything like that. And I, I suppose if you could sign Odell to a couple-year deal, then sure. And who knows? Maybe, maybe uh, OBJ or even a guy like Deshaun Jackson could make Jalen Hurts look good. Devontae Smith hasn't so far. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Nick Ford of Auto Infinity, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Yes, all right. I got an agreement. You're so much easier to work with than Felix. <laughs> he likes to argue just for the sake of arguing. How are you doing? Well, that's what you're supposed to do on a sports I show. suppose. He's just mean about it. I'm doing good, man. Sorry I'm late. No, had you're to, good. Had to finish up a deal. I got you. I got you. I mean, if you're making bank, I can't argue that. <laughs> I was telling the people it's it's felt yeah. like uh, like when I got you on, I don't know, were you ever – doing the show with me without felix johnson yeah you were but that okay. was like i think only did one time okay in the in the studio the rest were on the phone that's right i want to okay. say my first two or three over the phone one in the studio and then felix came on gotcha okay yeah, that, was, that was fun back in the day i was telling uh the listeners i was like it kind of feels like not that i would know what this feels like but kind of feels like uh just thinking back on to the times when you didn't have kids, you mm -hmm. might be able to relate to me on that, where it's like, wow, it's yeah, just high school. so much easier. Yeah, oh, high school. <laughs> I literally got out of the Marine Corps and boom, ah. kids. Well, at least uh, that means you had a woman nearby. Cause <laughs> I, I'm still trying to work on that. I, I would take kids if it meant I got, you know, a girlfriend or something, but that was a joke. I wouldn't actually. Um, hey, we're talking uh, right now. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. We're talking Odell Beckham Jr. Um, and 10 potential landing spots for him. I, I went and talked about the Eagles, which uh, came in at number 10, saying I didn't really see it because why? They don't really have a reason to fill anything like in the middle of the season, you know? Yeah, same thing. Jets suck. Yeah, Jets wouldn't yeah. make sense. Uh, all the bad teams suck. Right. Or, or don't make sense. All the teams that suck don't make sense to me. So why would Houston bring them on? Yeah, exactly. Like, it just doesn't I, – I suppose if they truly believe in Jalen Hurts and they just want him to look better, but even then, you don't know what you're getting out of OBJ at this point. Right. I think a change of scenery will help him, but who knows. Um – we talked about the Colts with Deshaun Jackson. Uh, we also talked about the Packers. Um, I I think that can make sense. They seem to be a little bit cluttered up in there. Uh, the Packers are. Yeah, I think that would be a great landing spot for him. And it'll be the same thing. Either he's going to be a crybaby diva and right. not last long because there's already a crybaby diva. I was going to say, maybe they'll or mesh or they'll... They'll just hit, hit it each off other. and they'll be like, yeah, I hate everyone too. <laughs> yeah. We're going to, do we just become best friends? <laughs> yep. <laughs> do the whole stepbrother thing. Yeah. I could see it. I could see so. it. Um, you'd need, yeah, you'd have to absolutely drop down Alan Lazard and Randall Cobb to pretty much just secondary roles at that point. But I think it would make it better. Mm -hmm. So there's that. And without De Devontae Adams, it's. It's been a little bit rough for him. I mean, Aaron Rodgers is Aaron Rodgers, and he'll make it work like he did against the Cardinals, but if he's out at all again, like, I don't see him being a Super Bowl contender at that point, if that makes sense. No, I'm with you. Could be different with OBJ. Um, oh, how about this one? The Cowboys. What do you think? And, and yeah, I want you to be completely unbiased Hell here. No. Like, do we you think? Yeah, him. that's what I we was curious him. about. We got three wide receivers that are better than him already. So and Michael Gallup's coming back. That's what I'm saying. Is he's, that one of them? Yeah. yeah. Psh, Cedric Wilson's a beast. He's yeah, our number four. True. I mean, and we got two good tight ends. We definitely don't need any help in the wider in the pass catching 
category for the Cowboys. And that's how they started off on here. Dallas doesn't need wide receiver help. Well, why would you pick up a guy who's considered to be a cancer in lineups at some Especially because, like, you see the – I know this will get off topic to Cowboys, but the Amari and uh, CeeDee Lamb relationship. I don't know if you saw the post – game interview with Amari where he's like CD Lamb tried to steal my touchdown yes I did so, <laughs> I but funny. they like do it playfully and Amari said that's great to have two guys on the team though that want the ball in those clutch situations well then if you added a third like you said those two are clearly cool with sharing right OBJ might not be yeah so, so why and even mess with the chemistry is that why you think he was so unhappy on the Browns? Is that he just felt like he wasn't being heralded as a star because he wasn't getting enough targets? Or I don't, I don't necessarily think it's that. I think he's just like, man, Baker sucks. You yeah, saw his dad made not, that video of like all the times he was open and Baker and could just have hit him. Didn't, and just didn't. Oh, I didn't see so that. No, his, but his, his dad released pretty much a, a highlight reel of getting open of that and it's just so hasn't not getting out. the catch but just i would be unhappy open. too i get it um now we're gonna do a couple more and then we're just gonna go into break uh the chiefs come in here at number four i could definitely see that i could see it i just i don't know i feel like okay we just signed josh gordon and we're not even playing the guy yeah, but and I suppose you relegate him down league, to yeah. third string or whatever. But I don't know. I mean, do you think that Odell Beckham Jr. could come in? Because Patrick Mahomes, a lot of the times, like there's been his issues too. But half the time, I feel like I'm watching him just scramble around trying to find somebody open, and there's just nothing. Well, yeah, I think he could help play that middle of the field role. Yeah, because I think it goes to coaching too maybe those guys can do it but they just don't do it but hardman and robinson are just speed guys well you already got a tyree kill that's a speed guy granted i think he can run run routes well but it's pretty much him and kelsey are the only guys to me capable of running routes on that team so right and that's 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 my issue with it is I mean, I don't know. I don't know him personally, so I don't know if he's actually like not great to have in lineups. But also, if he doesn't enjoy not getting targeted all that much, and Tyreek and Kelsey have a great game, and he gets targeted twice, I just don't want to see like a hissy fit. You there, always you know? see in uh, sports though, winning, winning fixes everything. So I think if he it's came true. in to a winning team, even if he was less involved, I think he'd be all right. He could still dance on the side uh, yep, stuff. Yep. That's true. He can Dougie, man. Well, then at that point maybe he should go to the Steelers and just yeah, start boom, doing TikToks yeah. with the, the <laughs> TikTok nation. That'd be awesome. OBJ, Claypool and Juju. <laughs> oh man. They'd never get practice. Or right, or if he comes to Kansas City, he's got Jackson Mahomes lined up in his pocket. Ooh, yeah, they can do disrespectful stuff together. I know. I can't stand that guy. Nick. It's gotten to a point where it's like, okay, he's my quarterback's brother or he's my quarterback's fiance, so, you know, I'm just going to be like whatever and not pay attention to it. But at this point, I'm just like, dude, stop. Right. Just try a little bit. Don't do it at the games or now, something was, like that. There just was a thing saying, chill. like, if you're wondering why Mahomes is struggling, <laughs> look at his family. And it was them and at the like, Mexican restaurant. Yeah. He's eating a chip, just watching it with like a dead stare in his exactly. eyes. I know exactly what yep. you're talking about. All right, let's uh, take a call real quick, and then we need to head into break. How's it going, caller? You're in the press box. Uh, this is Ben. Uh, if my phone dies, uh, it's not because I was rude and hung up. It's you're good, my phone Ben. Dies. We've only got about a minute left before we got to go to break anyway. So yeah, yeah. So let's just let's just say uh, I'm venting again. Uh, that's what I tend to do when I call. Uh, I'm going to be sick to my stomach. If uh, Bolton is out snapped by Hitchens. Uh, oh, uh, me too. Know, Absolutely. Man, yes. Spags has got to man up and say, hey, we're going to play who is playing the best. I don't – regardless of salary, like I Burns said, you, salary play to, you play to win the game. Or how good of a guy he is. You just put in say, the He guys. said he's the glue. He said he's glued the team. What glue? Yeah. This guy's a bump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was ecstatic when the Cowboys – Three years old Elmer's glue, maybe. Yeah, when the Cowboys yeah. released Jalen, I was like, good. Uh, Who yeah. cares if you owe him a bunch of money? Get rid of him. I, I, I know. Yeah. Every, I have people like – Someone should pick up Jalen Simmons. Like, he's a bum now. He already got he's cut by good. the Packers. He got re yeah. by the team that picked him up. He's so in, like, like, real quick, too, yeah. and then immediately, yeah. 
I, I sh- I'm okay if we bench Demarcus Lawrence. I mean, I mean right? He's overpaid well, too. On the, at, at the same time, uh, Bolton. There's no reason for Bolton. Bolton's not the best in pass coverage, but he's really good at the run, and he's been good as a rookie. There's him and Gay, and Gay has been fantastic the past two weeks, should always be on the field at the same time. Mm-hmm. And so why not this? It's What a novel concept. How about you take Neiman out as a third linebacker and put Hitchens in at his position? Why I, can't you do that? I, I wouldn't just be down for the Chiefs to be done with Neiman. I would be down for them to take him out back and shoot him, okay? Like, that's how <laughs> over Ben Neiman I am at this point. If Hitchens, if Hitchens is such a glue guy, glue him in at Neiman's old spot. I agree. Dr. Ben, you are speaking my language right now. No, I am 100% with you. Um, and that's that's what's so infuriating, too, about being a Chiefs fan right now. Because uh, you know Felix and I are homers, but there are some infuriating things about it. And it, it just it feels like they're not trying to be any better. Oh, no. And I'm, I'm getting the same sense about the Kansas City Royals, so maybe it's just something going up in Kansas City right now. But with Spags. Man, I'm just I'm feeling like he's letting his personal feelings slash emotions get in the way. I don't know, but can you blame me for feeling that way? You know? No, I feel I. I mean, I know we get a ton of heat for thinking we're a Super Bowl team every year, but all the Jason Garrett years in Dallas, that's how I felt. I'm like, how do we have this talented of a team and just and can barely go eight and eight, get nothing out? And then yeah. of course McCarthy sucks too to me, but I mean. Anybody was an upgrade over Garrett, and right? Like, we're we're doing great with bad coaching. So, mm-hmm. yeah. All yeah, right. I, 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 Spags has some decent blitz calls, and I think he's smart. I just think he's scared to, I guess, tell some of these players what's up. Yeah, yeah. I know, and that's something we just can't have right now. So. Like, I don't care if you're a vet. I don't care if you're a veteran. Right. I, big whoop. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. No, like, I agree. If you're not performing up to the standards, and you're you're just not. And yeah, I, that's the thing. Is like I would rather be spending money for a guy to not make our team worse than I would be for him to make the team worse. You know? Right. Yeah. So that's the way I look at it. But all right, we got to take a break here, Doctor Ben. Thanks so much for calling. Yeah. Have a great weekend. You too, my guy. Talk to you later. All right. He's always got some interesting stuff to talk about. Yep. Um. Yeah. I'm with him, man. I. It's been a little bit hard to watch you don't and like the ex-cowboy hitchens i know right <laughs> once man one man's trash is another man's trash i guess <laughs> I suppose so chiefs don't see it that way though clearly they're like oh this guy guys guys he has potential okay calm down they're not as good of coaching staff as jason garrett obviously <laughs> apparently not <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to take a quick break here. When we return, um, Aaron Rodgers is now upset with the media and the world for being upset at him for lying. Right. Huh. That sounds like a very Aaron Rodgers thing to do. Yeah. We are going to get more into that right after the break. Don't you dare touch that dial. Don't do it. Very nice. <laughs> we'll be right back. Keep it on the download here is the Dan Patrick Show. You know, with the Astros, if they do come out and if Altuve comes out and says, hey, all right, we did it. Does that matter to anybody? Like after a while, it's too late. Then you don't care about it. The problem is you never got punished. I think that was really what it came down to. Do we move on from the Astros? And I don't know if we do. Dan Patrick. The Dan Patrick Show. Weekdays at 9 a.m. on Wichita's sports station, KGSO. At Kansas Motor Company, 6717 West Kellogg Drive, right next to Texas Roadhouse, you'll find gently used pre-owned vehicles. You see, Kansas Motor Company stands above their competition by putting each vehicle through an extensive inspection. And they provide you with a car fax so you know if there's any bumps in the vehicle's history. And when it comes to your history, bad credit, no credit, no problem. Easy finance terms at Kansas Motor Company, next to Texas Roadhouse on West Kellogg or online at kansasmotorcompany.com. Did you know that United Healthcare helps connect you to doctors and therapists with 24-7 access to virtual care? So I could have therapy from my couch? Yep. Or a doctor appointment from my car? If you wanted to. 
Wait, you're right. I don't even like when people see me sing in the car. Couch appointment it is. Virtual visits are just one of the ways United Healthcare helps connect you to better health. Learn more at UHC.com. Plan benefits may vary. When it comes to spray-on bed liners for your pickup truck, Guardit is one of the best in the industry, and they're willing to put their money where their mouth is now through December. Continental Truck Accessories in Wichita is your exclusive Guardit spray-on bed liner retailer. And now through December, any retail Guardit spray-on bed liner will be eligible for a drawing to get a complete refund. The refund for Guardit spray-on bed liner is exclusively through Continental Truck Accessories. Show your truck some love with Continental Truck Accessories. As we head into fall, it's time to start thinking about all our favorite tailgating and game day foods. At Yoder Meats, we want to help, and we've got all the right products to make any meat-eating experience great. Ribs, pork butt, brisket, multiple sausage and brat flavors, rolled and tied chuck roast, and so much more. Stop by your favorite Yoder Meats location today to pick out your next fall event's main meat course. Follow us on Facebook for all the latest information and specials. Taste the old-fashioned flavor at Yoder Meats in Yoder and three locations in Wichita. Wichita Family Dental, East, West, and Derby Dental Care. At Wichita Family Dental, we handle general, restorative, cosmetic, and orthodontic needs in one location. No need for two appointments at two different offices, and we know how busy you are. At Wichita Family Dental, we value your time. Wichita Family Dental, Wichita's premier comprehensive state-of-the-art dental facility, east at 21st and Webb, west at 13th and Ridge, and Derby Dental Care of Derby at 1120 North Rock Road, Suite 100. It's time for you to get away at the Getaway Lounge in Garden Plain. The Getaway Lounge is the perfect place for you to get away with friends or family. With happy hour every day of the week between 2 to 6 p.m., you can enjoy great food, drinks, and their specials. Plus, they have the covered back patio for you to kick back and relax. Plus, it's the perfect getaway to go and enjoy the big game on any of their big screen TVs. The Getaway Lounge in Garden Plain, Kansas. 428 North Main Street in Garden Plain. Dine in, take out, or just go to get away. Make sure to follow them on Facebook. KGSO Studio presented by Seven Clans Casino Hotel and Resort. It pays to cross the line. Let's have a mid-city fiesta with your West LA connection. Hop inside the vehicle, start crossing intersections. We learning life's lessons while we blaze the cerebral lessons. A man was still a child and I have so many questions. Struggle all my life to evade the misconceptions. Then find a place to live between the negatives and positives. While trying to make money, slinging synonyms and homonyms. I went to Pop's house so I could visit moms and them. Cut to the mall, cop the brand new pair of Timberlands. Then dip down a one-way time to scoop up double K. And chill with my people on this bright and sunny day. My niggas split. Welcome back in. Okay, the shady spot so we can circulate the stress. Mary Jane. It's a press box, everybody. It's your boys, Adam Cook and Nick Ford. What was that? Uh, 19 minutes ago, but I just noticed it. Browns and OBJ finally reached settlement that results in him being placed on waivers. Like officially. Okay. I mean, okay. We already kind of had an idea. I but. thought that that had happened like earlier today. And it probably did. I okay. Just, okay. But I, yeah, I got no, it got in. Yeah. 19. Um, yeah, talked about him. I, it, I don't know. I guess I'd be fine with the Chiefs grabbing him, but also, I just don't, maybe we're on the right track. I don't want to mess anything up. I don't want him to be a bad clubhouse presence. I, I don't know. I'm just, makes me a little too nervous, you know, so. No, I hear you. Oh, whoops. We'll leave it at that for now. And I, I have to imagine he's going to find himself a new team fairly quickly, just based off the potential, but right. we will find that out soon enough. As of right now, Aaron Rodgers discusses positive COVID-19 tests, says, I'm in the crosshairs of the woke mob right now. Um, now, before we even get into this, I would like to say whether or not you think Aaron Rodgers should get the death penalty for what he did, he is very much right with this quote right here. <laughs> he <Right>. is. <laughs> right. Like, Yeah, whether you think it was an okay thing to do or not, he is very much in the crosshairs of the woke mob. Now, I don't think it was an okay thing to do, um, speaking about cancel culture and stuff like that, it, look, I'm not, and I know that you're not really like a dead set political, like hard, butt on one side or the other, which I can appreciate because I'm very much not like that, but there are some things on both sides that I tend to agree on. And one of them with the right is that cancel culture is 
kind of a scary thing that's just going yeah. on, you know. And I mean, <laughs> you'll have people rolling their eyes just at me saying that, but. I think it's a fair assessment to look at it and go, okay, somebody does something. Now, with Aaron Rodgers, it's different, but somebody does something 10 years ago, and depending on the severity of it, sometimes people really don't deserve the kind of hate that they just get. Now, I'm not talking about guys like John Gruden or anything like that, um, but I'm not a big cancel culture guy here. Uh I'm sure you're the same way with that. Oh yeah, it's it, definitely out it's, there. It's you, I mean, you're freaky. a comic. You can't even. They're they're limiting what you can say in comedy now. Right, and I don't want to like hurt anybody specifically. You right. know, and I, you know, I nobody really does unless they're just a bad person, and I, I don't know. But I think most of the time it's something where it's like, look, guys, that was ten years ago when I was not as into it as I am now. You know, I think differently now. Yeah, I, uh, it's just, just like people weird. are taking just a part, I guess. I haven't even seen the other part, but I guess Derek Carr's interview about rugs was 18 minutes long. Really? And the only thing you keep seeing is him saying, oh, well, rugs needs pe- he needs people to love him. And if yeah. I've got to be that person, I'll be that person, which I thought was cool. I thought but that was I, great. at the same time, nobody's talking about, you know, when he, I guess he gave his condolences to the family. Of course, and, and of yeah. Course. So, it, but they try to paint it to where it's like, oh, he's on Ruggs' side. What a piece of crap. I know, and that's one. Th- oh, man. Because I, I still haven't uh, seen the video. I've just read an I article that it was an 18-minute conference. But you conference know what? And- no, I don't, I don't like that, okay? I, I don't like the fact that people are like, oh, no, somebody did a bad thing. It, it, I just feel like we don't forgive anymore as a society. And right. I'm not saying that, was, that he if, should just get off easy or anything like that. I think he should be going to prison. Correct. But – that doesn't mean that he's just like, oh, yeah, I killed someone, whatever. I guarantee you he is torn the hell up. It right. is his fault. Don't get right. me wrong. Exactly. But that doesn't mean we as a society should just go, oh, okay, you're no longer a human, and just forget about them, yeah. you know? Because he's got, you know, you know, his mom doesn't stop loving him just because he did exactly. that. Exactly. Like, just like, I know Derek Carr is not his mom, but it's essentially a brother. You know what I mean? Right. So... I don't know why people were so upset about what he said. I, but, I'm shocked. But a lot of people, people also, upset. like you said, left and right, a lot of people are like, good for Derek Carr. Yeah. Way to stand up for your brother. You just you see, I mean? mean, you just see all the stories, bad-mouthing rugs. And again, I, <laughs> he kind of needs that oh, yeah, right now. For sure. But I also think that it's good for him and just for everybody as, as a society, excuse me, to just be able to go, okay, you did a bad thing. If you've learned your lesson and you're sorry about it, then we are – willing to move on you know and it can have its caps but i i just don't think that everybody should just stop pretending like henry ruggs is a human that's just me um and that has nothing to do with what we're talking about here right aaron Rodgers. yes aaron Rodgers. so he says i realize i'm in the crosshairs of the awoke mob right now so before my final nail gets put in my cancel culture casket i would like to set the record straight on so many of the blatant lies that are out there about myself okay he he had a very detailed interview i got uh alert on the pat mcafee show yeah i haven't seen any highlights yet but now Yes, so that's what we're reading okay, here. Okay, awesome, awesome. Uh, reading part of. Uh, he said that he did a bunch of research on the vaccines, discovered he is allergic to something in the mRNA, Pfizer and Moderna, and he said that the Johnson & Johnson became his only option, but when that got pulled in April because of blood clotting issues, he sought other treatments based on conversations with his medical team. Huh. Okay. I believe him for the most part. You know, it, and it and it sucks because it's like Rogers. If you just hadn't lied about it in the first place, like you don't have to be Cole Beasley and be like, "Oh, I'm not getting the vaccine," but just to say, "Hey, I'm allergic in this. I can't get the Johnson and Johnson. Like, I kind of have to not be right now." I understand you don't want to wear a mask and do this and whatever, but he still lied about it. You know, and that's the problem here. Right. I don't think he should be canceled, but that is still a problem. Right. Uh, you got rules. You're paid by your employer to follow rules, and you didn't follow them, you know. But I agree, and I don't even like them, but, yeah, you shouldn't be canceled or anything like <laughs> yeah, that. I, Fine them, do whatever. I don't, like if you, I don't know what the rules are, if that calls for suspension, whatever. But, you know, I mean, what what do people want 
to happen, I guess. Yeah. And so, I think he might be being a little bit of a crybaby, too. Like, I think don't so. Don't cancel well. me. I don't right. think they're no, necessarily I think doing so that either. But, yeah, it's like, well. dang, man. Kind of like you said, why'd you lie? Mm-hmm. Just essentially man, like, man up and just be like, I'm not getting it. I tell people all the time. I'm not getting it because of this. It, but I don't care if you have it. Right. I, and like that you is said, also I'm not left a viable right. reason. Cole Beasley's still out there on the Bills, and he's still getting plays, and he's still doing just fine. Everybody's, for the most part, forgotten about it. And I think that people would have been, and uh, there's a lot of people who wouldn't have been accepting, um, but I think that if Rodgers had just been truthful about it, there would have been a lot more people who were just like, okay, I, that's fair. You know, right, exactly. like he would have had to go on unvaccinated. But um, he said that he asked the Packers to accept his immunization status as under vaccination protocol. Um, now, here's where it gets a little bit more dicey, and this might uh, offend some people or whatever, but he. Rodgers did say he didn't believe that some of the league's protocols were based on science and were instituted to shame players to get a COVID-19 vaccine. I think it is based on science. I also think that it was put in place to shame players who were not getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Yep. So I'm, I'm with him on that. Again, still no excuse to lie. Uh... And then, you know, he continued to place blame on the media, saying that reporters were on a witch hunt to identify which players were vaccinated. That does not surprise me in the slightest. I definitely believe him on that one. I also blamed reporters at the news conference where Rogers said he was immunized. Uh, he said that if any other reporter asked a follow-up question, Rogers would have flat out explained he's not an anti-vax flat earther, but that he's a critical thinker. Okay. So he's not Kyrie Irving. I was going to say, what's he doing? <laughs> making fun of Kyrie? Yeah, I think he is, actually. Yeah, oh, that's he, kind man. of a good one, uh, not going to lie. Um, he invoked my body, my choice. Um, uh, and then thanked Joe Rogan for giving Rogers advice and then quoted Martin Luther King Jr. What a wild ride of an interview here. Uh, said he consulted with Joe Rogan and has been doing a lot of stuff that he talked about on his podcast. I haven't heard that one, so I don't mm. know. But, oh, okay, I think he actually just meant Joe Rogan's regular podcast and not necessarily him being on it. Okay. Um, and then he continued to say, the great MLK said, you have a moral objection to object unjust rules and rules that make no sense. <laughs> I think he's being a dramatic uh, crybaby here. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um. I do think there is merit to what he's to some of the things that he said, and I think, I think if people, although he's kind of coming off as arrogant, yes, I think if people actually listen to what he had to say and his concerns, that's the thing. At least for me, I I am vaccinated. It was just a personal thing. I could, honest to God, care less who if the person sitting next to me is or not. Um, but. Yeah, where were I? Where was I going with this? Um, I I absolutely lost my train of thought there. But I don't know. I I'm just I'm with him on some points. I I still think he shouldn't have lied and you know just been upfront about it. Been a man, and I don't think it wouldn't have been as bad as this is. But yeah, just like I know I got the thing that he lied. Some alert, but that. I didn't see a whole bunch of follow-up. I feel like he's almost bringing more attention to it than the league did. I I have to wonder if he's doing that on purpose because he did the same thing over the offseason. Of course, it was under very different circumstances, but he just tried to get as much attention on him as possible. Completely side note, did you see uh, – remember I had told you that he was growing his hair out like that for a Halloween costume? Did you ever see his Halloween costume? Yeah, John Wick. Yep. <laughs> So, I, uh, I'm i not going to lie. I have to wonder if uh, that's where he went and got COVID. Um, <laughs> it was that Halloween night dressed as John Wick. I wonder if Sports Center has deleted those pictures yet or if they right. left them on. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. Oh, I think I remember what I was going to say, actually, real quick before we head into break. I think it's become a point where. You're just like on one side or the other, and they are just at arms against each other. And I know that this would solve a lot of the world's problems, but if people aren't going to listen to each other and pro vaxxers aren't going to at least like hear out the concerns, it's never going to get better. And, and it goes the opposite way, too. Don't get me wrong. I don't know. Aaron Rodgers, 
Just tell the truth next time, huh? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to take a quick break here, folks. Adam Cook, Nick Ford, hanging out with you. we got one more segment left. We're going to talk Nick's picks. Not actual advice. Just, uh, <laughs> we're just talking about it. Just a conversation. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't you dare touch that doll. Don't do it. We'll be right back. on Compass Media Network's coverage of NCAA football. It's a crucial top 15 showdown in the SEC West as the Texas A&M Aggies host the Auburn Tigers. Hi, it's Greg Daniels. Join Chad Brown and me for all the action. Can Bo Nix and the Tigers stay ahead of Zach Calzada and the Aggies in the standings? It's number 12 Auburn and number 13 Texas A&M. If it's college football, it's right here. Pre-game at 2 p.m. right here on Wichita Sports Station, KGSO. In the construction industry, experience is key. At Donlinger Construction, you'll find a loaded portfolio of Wichita staples, such as Keeper of the Plains, Interest Bank Arena, and many more. Remember, your commercial projects are always better built by Donlinger. Check them out at donlinger.biz. When you're so hungry for a meal or a snack, slide on into the Slider Shack. You could say it's a little bit out of the way, but the Slider Shack sliders will blow you away. Try the cheeseburger, spicy chicken, pulled pork, too. Eleven different kinds of sliders made to order for you. And the Slider Shack sides are something else. Baked beans, fries, and shack crack sauce. Slide on in and treat yourself. Taco Burger Tuesday's gonna make you jump and holler, because Taco Burger sliders are just one dollar. Slide on in or use the handy slide through. Just one taste, you'll be back. Slide on in to the Slider Shack, 4628 South Seneca. Ugh, my stomach. Don't worry, I've got you covered. When you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. What's that? It's Pepto-Bismol chews. Pepto-Bismol's in a chew? Yeah, they taste great and provide fast relief. And you can always have Pepto-Bismol handy. Ooh, let me try it. Try Pepto-Bismol chews for fast relief. Nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Use as directed, keep out of reach of children. Looking to carve out a better future for yourself? Start training for an essential career at WTI. Whether you're interested in an in-demand career in technology, HVACR, or healthcare, at WTI's Wichita campus, you can get the training you need to get started. All of our programs feature blended learning with a combination of on-campus and online classes, giving you the ideal balance of convenience and hands-on training. Learn more by visiting us at WTI.edu. WTI. You matter, skills matter. Bob Shippers is here from Continental Truck Accessories. And Bob, Continental has been accessorizing trucks for over 40 years now. Our sales staff and installation team has over 115 years of combined product knowledge. And with that knowledge comes expertise. Expertise and installation experience to help you personalize your truck and create that unique look to help it stand out from the typical factory accessories. Show your truck some love. And come see us at Continental Truck Accessories. 6701 South Broadway. Hi, welcome to Furniture Depot. And you, come on in. Couches yes. are oh, flying off the floor at Cheyenne's yeah. Furniture Store. Sarah, can you go over to dining sets, please? She needs more sales associates before shoppers take their seats elsewhere. Can somebody get me a price check on trundle beds? Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Instant Match instantly connects you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your sponsored job description. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. For all your commercial construction needs, look no further than Donlinger Construction. For over 123 years, Donlinger has serviced the state of Kansas with an emphasis in Wichita. Remember, your commercial projects are always better built by Donlinger. Check them out at donlinger.biz. Mostly sunny this afternoon in Wichita with high temperatures warming into the lower 60s. It'll be a breezy one. South wind 10 to 20, gusts to 25. Tonight we're clear and crisp. Lows drop to 40 by sunrise. For Saturday, mostly sunny and warmer. A high up near 70. With your forecast, I'm Cake Meteorologist Frank Waugh. That's your latest Cake First Alert weather update on Sports Radio KGSO. At 549, it's currently... 56 degrees. Call the press box now on the Maximum Outdoor Equipment phone lines at 522-1410. Hey, it's Doug Gottlieb. Join me tomorrow right here on Sports Radio KGSO. Now back to Chef and Mr. Big Stuff right here in the press box. Only you had a motive for murder.
Welcome back into the show, everybody. Adam Cook, Nick Ford hanging out with you here on the Press Box. Having a grand old time. Hold on. I always bring it down at that point. Still playing, though. But no. No, I don't need to hear anymore. Good transition. Yeah, Yeah, thank you very much. (laughs) It would have been better if I hadn't taken the time to explain it during it, but that's okay. Uh, So, Nick, we got about five minutes here, and one thing that we've done in the past when it's just been you and me is take a look at Nick's picks. And this is something that I I do enjoy doing because it (laughs) – you know, it reawakens that gambling addict inside me, you know. But you uh, Glad yeah. I can help you become an addict. <laughs> yeah, so I appreciate you for that. No. Um, Cause this is not financial advice. It's just <laughs> what I do. Yes, exactly. But I don't and looking at ones that we, I think we both kind of agree are good games to take a look at this week. But don't just do it based off of what you heard on the radio. If you do, you got more problems than gambling addiction. I can tell you that much. All right. Um, do you want to, do you have like the set Knicks picks you want to go through? Yeah, but we could still run down the list and I'll tell you. Okay. What Knicks pick is. Let's if, do if it. You do that. I'm pretty sure you said we started out with one with this one, which is the Bengals minus two and a half over the Browns. Yep. That's a Knicks pick. Easy. Wonderful. I, I think Browns are terrible. I do too. Uh, Baker has kind of fallen off the map there. He was looking good enough for a while, but right. it just hasn't. And. The Bengals, man. I'm liking them. All right. Uh, Even though they just lost to the right. Jets. Right. Yes. But, yeah. 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 Gross, I know. Right. But so Mike White's Titans. a god, right? Yeah. So, um, Dallas over Broncos minus 10 and a – or minus 10. Uh, not a pick, man, right? I like, I, yeah, it's not a Knicks pick. i got to go with Cowboys. One, I'm a fan. I don't see how the Broncos are going to move the ball. Their offense is terrible. Their defense is eh. – yeah. So I just, I think we'll cover, but I don't, it's not one I'd like, like you said, say is a Knicks pick. Right. Miami Dolphins minus five and a half. I like the Dolphins. You kind of know I got a soft spot for them yeah. already. But, <laughs> you kind of I, I actually like it a lot, but it's it's not a Knicks pick, but. Yeah. I think that one's decent. Okay. Now this is interesting here. Uh, Saints minus six and a half over the Falcons. Man, that's just a stay away from game all the time. I around. agree. But, but, but if you I twisted mean, my arm, I'd probably say Falcons. Yeah. But, but yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Giants hosting the Raiders. Giants are plus three. Giants. Uh, man. But they not just a Knicks pick. Much, yeah, they got too much going on in, in Las Vegas. They do. It's rough. Uh, all right. We have um, – Carolina Panthers hosting the New England Patriots. Panthers plus three and a half. I like Pats minus three and a half. I think I and do I too. love, love the over. 41 is the over. That's oh the next my. pick. Okay. Because uh, Daniel Jones, not Daniel Jones, goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> Mac Jones? Mac Jones is yeah. uh, looking better. I still think he's more of a game manager, but. I think so too. I think he's been improving every time he's gone out. Yeah. And I so. think the Panthers, especially if CMC comes back, they'll. Uh, move the ball a little better yeah i hope he does man i I haven't had him all year in fantasy i knew this was gonna happen uh jaguars plus 14 and a half against the bills that's rough bills same thing not a Knicks pick but bills but yeah okay the the money line is minus 1100 holy cow that is crazy um all right ravens minus six over the vikings ravens like it uh, and we talked about this one being weird. The Eagles plus one and a half over the – or yeah, Eagles plus one and a half against the Chargers. Chargers. I might even take a second mortgage out. <laughs> I think I They're agree. Just, I don't understand this line. It has to be a trap game. Like, Vegas is like, ooh, let's put one game in that everyone will bet on, the Eagles, and then we'll just set it up and they'll win. <laughs> like, I don't get this – Bet I don't all. either because we didn't find any good injuries that would explain it on the Chargers side. So, yeah, this is one that I'm going to be racing home to put in. Uh, Chiefs minus seven over the Packers. Man, I'm Packers s- plus seven. I get it. I'm staying away. I'm yeah, staying no, far it's, it's, away. A, it's a stay away from. I wouldn't bet on it. But if you same thing, twist my arm. You got to pick. I'm going to get going with the Packers are undefeated against the spread. Only other team is. The Dallas Cowboys. This one interests me. How about Rams minus seven and a half over the Titans? 
Titans okay. with like a uh, question mark at the end. I don't know, man. I, I have a feeling the Titans are going to get blown out of the water, but I, I don't know. I could, I could see it. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers minus six and a half over the Bears. And we got one more. Steelers. Steelers minus six and a half. Okay. I, I don't want to bet on the Steelers with Big Ben at the helm. Um, I He's he used to be, you know, God status, and he's just not anymore by a long shot. So, for me, it's kind of stay away. All right, finally here to end it out. Uh, San Francisco 49ers minus two and a half over the Cardinals. Cardinals Ooh, all day my, long if Kyler plays. If, if Kyler, Kyler doesn't plays. play. But I'm sure the line will adjust once. As soon as they're like, Kyler's playing for sure, it'll probably flip right, flop. Right, and it's not going. We're not going to know until I'd like still 90 take, minutes I, before the game. If Kyler plays, though, I would take the Cardinals minus four and a half. Right. I mean, I think they beat them by at least a touchdown if Kyler plays, even without Hopkins. I might have to just take it anyway. and Just, just, hope, just hope he you plays. Know, yeah. All right, folks. Well, we are out of time. Nick, thank you so much for your picks and for hanging out today. Really appreciate you coming in and filling the void. Sorry I was late. No, you're good. It's a big (laughs) void to fill, but you did it well. Uh, This chair is huge. (laughs) You can't fit in any others here. All right, folks. We're out of time. Uh, Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you on Monday. I'm Adam Cook. I'm Nick Ford. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Love you. Bye. at International Bird Rescue say when they learn we rely on Dawn dish soap to clean wildlife.